Hi guys and welcome to the VFX show, the show that teaches you how to do visual effects for your next film. And today I'm going to be teaching you about real flow simulations for when you want to do an effect like, I don't know, vomiting. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Okay, now watch this tutorial. Yo! It's about that time to bring forth the rhythm and the rhyme. I got stacked, so bring yours. I wanna see sweat coming out your pores. Yeah, I got French whores. Okay, um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so, um... I'm going to teach you how to do effect like I did in this video that I just uploaded to the VFX show. Right there. Good, ain't it? Good. Yeah, okay, so essentially that effect if uh, is used uh, in real flow and 3DS Max. So first off, what I did was I had a video and I kind of tracked it like manually with, you know, something and then used a circle, made it a, uh, hit, con ugh, crap, man, this is going great. Um, then I converted it to, <clears throat> I converted, not set, there we go, baby, okay. Just converted it to an edible poly, <clears throat> and then I uh, tracked to my mouth, and that was essentially how I got that effect. Now, <clears throat> I could teach you that, but that's, I don't need to teach you exactly how I did that. I'm just going to show you the basics. All right, let's do this. So first off, let's add a ground plane. So we're going to take a box and create this ground plane. Move it down. Now we have this ground plane and we can even rename this ground under dash plane yeah see now we got a plane ground sorry um and we could have something that emits the water but i don't want that i just want let's get a teapot up in here up in here up in here yeah, I'm gonna make. Sorry, I'm in uh, like a singing mode for some reason. Okay, well, not singing, uh, more like screeching. Um, wow, that was a great joke. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so what if we just took this, you know, regular thing that everybody does, and maybe we can pour liquid on it? Wouldn't that be cool, guys? No? Alright, oh, let's use a sphere. Let's go simple on these guys. Uh, and thank you for watching, by the way. This is the VFX show, the greatest show on the internet, except for a show with a Swedish dude or an Irish dude playing video games. You know who you are. Alright, so I don't know. Have the liquid spraying. Now, keep in mind, you might want to keep your objects pretty small compared in your scene because uh, when uh, there's a larger particle flow, uh, which means there's more particles, real flow does not know how to handle that. So we'll just make it pretty small and bring it down. Where's the middle? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's animate this somehow. I don't know. Hit Auto key or hit N on the on the keyboard. <clears throat> Move it, and let's make it swoop. So it like does. Bro, okay, that looks that looks great. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll select these two objects that we want to put into our scene. Go up to here to uh, SD file export settings. Click on that. Hit selected objects, or you can do the entire scene, but selected objects is a smarter idea. Use active time segment and click where you want to export the file. 
I don't know, let's make a new folder here in the RealPo thing, call it the VFX show. Go in here, save it as testes. That is the technical term for testicles, if you did not know. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into RealFlow, and first off, we're just going to call this testes. Yes, testes are salty. Whoops. <laughs> testes are salty. So we're going to here and select that folder where the VFX show is. Create new project. Alrighty. Now, the real flow, if you're watching this for the first time and you want to learn uh, real flow, here are the basics. You use the alt button and you use the left mouse button to uh, roll around. You use the middle mouse button and the alt button to pan around. And you use the alt and the right click button to zoom in. Those are the basics, and the rest is pretty simple if you ever learned a software like this before. If you don't, then I suggest uh, learning another 3D software, or learn this one. That'd be good. All right. Um, so we're going to import our geometry. So go into the geometry tab up here and hit import. And click, <laughs> click our testes. Oh crap, that sounds really wrong. Alright, so now that we have uh, our sphere, and as you can see, it is moving how we animated it, which is awesome. But the thing is, the time segments don't match up, so I'm going to change it to the correct time segments. And we can change the uh, uh, scene shading by either hitting numbers or something, or hitting 9 on your keyboard, so that'd be cool. Okay, so hit 9 on your keyboard, you get flat shading. Hit 0, you get smooth shading. I like a 9 because it gives you a cooler look. I don't know. I, don't, I always use 9. I don't know, I don't know why. Sorry, I just ate um, very spicy chicken, and I've never had spicy chicken. I think it's messing my voice up a little bit. All right, so go to your liquids dash particles tab. Now, RealFlow does this amazing thing to simulate liquids. What it does is it first uses particles that simulate liquids to the closest degree, which is a really good simulation of what liquids are. Of course, you have to add variables to get the right settings, but this gives a perfect, not al almost perfect, um, addition of what liquids are. So they use these particles to emit like liquid and then it goes through a second pass which is called meshing and I'll teach you how to do that here in a second so let's click circle up here and then let's use our translate tools or hitting W E R which is E is for rotate W is for moving it's the same as in 3ds max alright so I don't know let's do something cool with this I don't know what we should do let's rotate it not that. Let's rotate this, move it down a little bit, I'm thinking. And rotate it a little bit up. All right. Okay. Now, a few things here in the node parameters is there's volume, speed, uh, VH, random, ring ratio, side, emission. So... <clears throat> the one thing that I usually tweak is speed. Speed is how fast it's coming out of the circle or what's emitting. Speed at 2 is going to be pretty slow. At 200, it's going to be like a faucet water. So if you want to do a commercial and you're doing like a faucet sink, you want to use that setting. And VH random, make sure that your scene, uh, your water doesn't look perfect because most of the time water does not look perfect. There's always variables like gravity and rain, rain, gravity and particles in the air, moistness. But to simulate gravity, you have to go into your demons or daemons or however you pronounce that and click on gravity. And that's it. Now you can you know get the strength but the strength is how earth is so if you want to change it to like something uh, like on Mars then you have to 
do the math for that. I'm not doing that for you. Anyways, <clears throat> so to simulate the liquids, because as you can see, when we spread across our timeline, the liquids aren't spewing out. We would have to hit simulate. But before I show you that, I want to show you how to keyframe, because this took me a while to figure out. Actually, it didn't, but it might cause a problem. If you want to keyframe anything, hit the hit this button down here. It's like a little key and hit position key or rotation key and you can move it. Hit position key and again and then you have movement and you can also go into your curves editor up here, go to view or your uh, where is it? The well there's cur oh yeah wait you have to click on it and say open curves and you can edit your curves if you know how to do that. Ow, Michi. Okay. Well, now let's simulate it. So let's go to zero and hit simulate. As you can see, the water isn't very fast. It's, you know, it's reacting how water would in this situation. It's pretty good, but not great. So let's add some speed to this. I don't know. Let's go up to... Let's go up to 15. Let's go to zero and hit simulate. Hit yes. And now, the faucet, it sprays out really fast and a lot more particles are spewing out. Okay. That's great. Um, <clears throat> now, as you can see, this is a little bit too perfect. These particles are moving a little bit too perfect. So let's go to our random, and I'm going to up this up to 5 on both spectrums, on the V and H, which is... <clears throat> I, I don't know what the V and H stand for, but I, don't, I took geometry last year, and I didn't remember. As you can see, it is now spraying. Depending on how much randomness you put into it, it's going to... Um, <clears throat> change the way it looks. I use this to simulate the vomit. Uh, I use the randomness to simulate the vomit, because vomit doesn't look perfect, guys. Uh, I hope you know that. Vomit isn't perfect. Okay. As it's simulating, I'm going to talk about mm, breast cancer. Oh, why did I say that? Oh, I might have to redo that entire... Ooh, wow, I'm sorry if I, like, offended anybody. I'm sorry. Okay, that was... Okay, uh, everybody unsubscribed. I'm sorry, bye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hope I forget about this in the morning. Um... Alrighty, it's done. Okay, now when we play it... Back... We can see perfect. Now it's not even reacting with the sphere, but it is reacting with the ground plane we made. All right. Now we can also go up to here and up the resolution, but since this is a tutorial that doesn't want to take that time, we're not doing that. We are going to show you how to do the less resolution. All right. So more resolution means there's more particles, which means that there's more things that the mesh can grab on. And I'm going to show you how to mesh this particle right now. So go to zero, go to mesh, and hit particle mesh. This automatically puts every particle system into a uh, group with it. You're going to click on particle mesh, and you're going to hit simulate and hit yes. <clears throat> All right, it's done, finally. Okay. Now, if we look at this, it's meshed out and it looks Great. 
and this was how I made vomit. All right. Now what we're gonna do is go into 3ds Max. You don't even need anything for this. Just go to 3ds Max. You don't have to export anything. It's fine. You simulated it. You're good. So go up to create bin mesh object. Testes are salty. Uh, go into your meshes and click the first one and hit open. Now, if we go into our modification panel, we can see this. Now, the one thing is that happens to um, our real float. Why is this a little bit above the ground? Hmm. That's peculiar. Um, what happens is for real flow, it rotates at 90 degrees for some reason. So I usually hit angle snaps on my thing and make sure that it's ninety degrees. And since it's a little bit off the ground, I will push it down towards the ground, touching the tips of the bottom. Alright. So now we have liquid and when I click away and you're like, whoa! Holy Whoa, look at that! It's liquid! That's vomit, too! You can make vomit out of this. This is how, this is why I made the video, because it looks like vomit sometimes, uh, if you put the right texture to it. So, if we, um, what I did to this, um, uh, mesh is because, because it's so hard, I usually go into, uh, add the effect smooth, hit auto smooth, or you can just ha add a smoothing group but you honestly don't have to add a smoothing group. Um, if you click away, it's smoothish. And it gives an amazing look, and I really like what RealFlow can do. So thanks for watching, guys. That was the basics of RealFlow. I hope you kept up with my sh shenanigans. Um... Here's a pineapple. Hmm. All right. Bye. Wait. Wait a minute. Before you go. Okay. You, you, I was thinking about this. I was. I didn't. Okay. A long time ago, I watched um, Jack the Giant Slayer. Did you guys watch this? It sucked balls. It was the worst freaking movie ever. It was like Nick. Holtz, or whatever his name is, who who's a good actor, I actually, he was actually good in Warm Bodies, he was the only reason why I watched that movie, and he was great in Mad Max, he actually was mad, and but he wasn't Mad Max, but it was, he was good, but anyways, and he just had crappy CGI, and of course I'm not one to talk, but like, the CGI was terrible, um, and the one thing that I hated about it was that the characters' names or fee fi fo fum like those were the names there was fee fi fo and fum those were <sighs> characters it was so stupid get it i mean they tried to put logic to why the guy said it there's no logic to why the guy said it it's a it's a fairy tale you don't have to put make a movie about it Honestly, you don't have to make move another Cinderella movie. The first one, it was the same movie. Like, the newest Cinderella movie was the exactly same thing as the animated version, but nobody wanted to see the animated version anymore because 2D animation sucks. 2D animation is awesome. 2D animation is amazing. Hey. Guess what? Next episode's gonna be 2D animation. Oh, you heard it first. Thanks for watching. Bye.